Disturbing news breaking on Tuesday that West Indian Devon Thomas is facing a possible long-term ban from cricket after being charged by the International Cricket Council for seven counts of breaches of their anti-corruption code. The Antiguan is suspected to have been involved in match-fixing during the Lanka Premier League, Caribbean Premier League and Abu Dhabi T10 tournaments between 2021 and last year. The 33-year-old has been charged by the ICC for breaching the following articles contriving or being party to an agreement to fix or attempt to fix contrive or influence improperly the result progress conduct or other aspects of matches in the Lanka Premier League 2021 failing to disclose to the designated anti-corruption officials without unnecessary delay full details of an approach or invitations received to engage in corrupt conduct in the Lanka Premier League 2021 failing or refusing without compelling justification to cooperate with the designated anti-corruption officials investigation by failing to provide accurately and completely any information and or documentation requested by the designated anti-corruption official. Moving along to Article 2.4.7 of the SLC code obstructing or delaying the designated anti-corruption officials investigation into corrupt conduct including without limitation concealing tampering with or destroying any documentation or other information that may be relevant to that investigation and or that may be evidence of or may lead to the discovery of evidence of corrupt conduct failing to disclose to the designated anti-corruption official without unnecessary delay full details of an approach or invitations received to engage in corrupt conduct at the Abu Dhabi T10 that was in 2021 as well failing to disclose to the designated anti-corruption official without unnecessary delay the receipt of any gift payment hospitality or benefit that he knew or should have known was made in order to procure a breach of the CPL code or could have brought the player or the game of cricket into disrepute. Now, Thomas has been suspended with immediate effect and has 14 days to respond to the charges. Cricket West Indies maintained its stance against corruption in a statement released on Tuesday. Cricket West Indies has been made aware of the charges that have been laid by the International Cricket Council's ICC Anti-Corruption Unit, ACU, involving West Indies player Devon Thomas. CWI is not directly involved in the process but remains firm in denouncing corruption in cricket and fully supports the ICC ACU in its efforts to uphold the integrity of the sport. While the matter continues, Cricket West Indies will not make any further comments in respect of these charges. In collaboration with ICC and the West Indies Players Association, WIPA, CWI remains committed to sensitizing and educating our players and officials on anti-corruption in sports. Now, Thomas has been withdrawn from the Windies ODI squad to play the UAE in 350 over games starting on Sunday, June 4, and has been replaced by St. Lucian Johnson Charles Lance. Mariah, what do you make of this one? Well, first of all, it came to me as a surprise. However, I will say corruption in sport, corruption in cricket is not a new topic. However, when it hits home, I think it affects us even more. Devon Thomas, of course, has been having a really good season, so much so that he got this call up. And for me, I have a lot of time for him. I feel as if you know, with the results that we would have seen from him previously, if he got the opportunity, he would be somebody that, you know, the West Indies could call on when necessary. This news coming to hand, and he has 14 days to respond, team. I think it just is not a good look for Caribbean cricketers and Caribbean people on the whole. I hope he has a good reply. I hope the reply that he and his attorneys and team come up with is one that can, you know, set him free. But seven counts being charged on seven counts doesn't look too good. Yeah, the fact is, I remember when Marlon Samuels had an anti-corruption breach back in 2008. West Indies Players Association immediately went into his corner and offered, offered support 
um, much different from what we saw in the last 24 hours because WIPA's statement pretty much just says they're um, siding with the ICC and Cricket West Indies and everyone in protecting the integrity of the sport and saying things like they have to rid the game of corruption and so on. So they have immediately taken a position uh, not standing beside Devon Thomas on this one and I guess the proliferation of charges against him um, pretty serious and uh, indefensible pretty much. And what worries me is you know the sanctions for these corruption issues are major. Devon Thomas is 33 years of age so if he has to undergo sanctions Ricardo and Lance what does this mean for the rest of his career? And that's something that has been on my mind and I think would be on the cricketer's mind as well. Is, is that it for him? Yeah, and I think as well, when you look at the details of this case as we have them, part of the issue for Devon Thomas is that we're talking about at least, you're talking about the Lanka Premier League, you're talking about the Caribbean Premier League, you're talking about the Abu Dhabi T10. What that shows, this was not a one-off. A trend developed, and that's going to be the, <laughs> well, just being caught in this situation in the first place is a major issue. Um, but the fact that it seems that a trend developed over a two-year period in, in different leagues across the world makes it significantly more serious and the, the punishment, um, the sanction, as you rightly pointed out, Mariah, is expected to be significant as well. And at 33 years old, it could be so significant that there is no coming back for him. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're right as well, Lance, that um, from a Cricket West Indies standpoint and from a um, West Indies Players yeah, Association so. standpoint, they are looking to protect the integrity of the game. And if they feel that he is guilty, and if he is found guilty, um, then he's not going to get much support, if yeah. any at all, from the regional governing bodies. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he's going to be left on the outside looking in, one yeah. would have to think. Yeah, and the narrative coming from the West Indies Players Association yesterday in their statement repeated that they have gone to great extreme levels to educate, inform and guide players with regard to the anti-corruption guidelines and obviously you know, telling them what they should do and what they should not do. So WIPA and Cricket West Indies feel that they have done enough yes. to, to let their players know what the consequences are if you breach these, these um, codes. So um, not much sympathy going in the way of Demon Thomas at the moment. Um, I just made the Marlon Samuels reference just now, but S Samuels was a first team player. Yes. Devon Thomas has been a fringe player for a long time. So it, it, his, his career isn't the same now as Marlon Samuels was at the time. Um, and and maybe, <laughs> maybe that is part of the reason as a fringe player why he has fallen into this trap because um, he's trying to, to gather some funds. And I just want to add, I remember interviewing Wavell Hines on the show about a similar topic and he spoke to an extent on how much money they pump into ensuring these workshops are done. And even so, team, we live in an era where information is available to us at the tip of our hands. So basically, no player has yes. the opportunity and they shouldn't have the opportunity to say that they didn't know. No, well, they can't, to be honest. Yeah, and it's interesting that you would bring up that point, right, Lance, about him being a fringe player because... I thought about it as well, and I said to myself, in this day and age, when you have so many opportunities to make money through T20 cricket... But he's in these, right? Exactly. So, so many leagues across the world. Why would you jeopardize that? And, and yes, I know that the potential earnings from match fixing um, could be significant but it's also dangerous because this can happen as well yes um, and and you can essentially muddy your name for life which is what Devon Thomas has done in this case so it's it's one of a, th a few things it, it could speak to the amount of money that you actually get for 
um, fixing these matches, whether it's match fixing or it's spot fixing. Um, and of course, there are other charges as well as it yes. relates to um, the, the subsequent cover-ups yes. or attempted cover-ups that yeah. would have happened. And not informing the authorities about approaches made. Which is a very important yes. part of the yes. anti-corruption yes. code. Yes. So if you get approached, yes. um, it is not okay to say, well, I, I didn't respond to them. I didn't do anything. Yeah. Um, you have to say that you were approached. Yes. yes, you yes. have to say yes. to the International Cricket Council, to yes. the Anti-Corruption Unit, that listen, I got an approach, this is who I got it from, these are the details of the situation, you go ahead and do that. Failing to do that, that is already a breach. And that in this case would be one of the breaches yes. um, for De Devon Thomas. It is an unfortunate situation, there is no doubt about it. It is a damning situation for Devon Thomas, but I also think I guess from a Weeper standpoint and a Cricket West Indies standpoint, they can take solace from the fact that they could essentially say this is just a one-off. Um, we have done the work, we have done the um, education processes, we have gone through those and we feel confident that this is not something that will happen regularly um, or consistently with our players, but it's unfortunate that it has happened in this case with Devon Thomas. We'll continue to um, follow this story, no doubt about it, and see uh, where we go from here. We take a break on the Sports Mike Zone. When we return, we won't be talking about Devon Thomas, but we'll be talking about some great cricket from the Indian Premier League today. We'll be back with more.